What's up YouTube? It's Elijah One Dream and we're back again with another NBA 2K24 new gen rec center gameplay video. And in today's video, we are back on the 6 foot 11 prime Shaquille O'Neal type build. Now, I don't have any of his jerseys on or anything like that. I just have the basic generic UPS driver 2K fit on, but we look make him look like Shaq and everything. But in this coming out gameplay, we drop a near 20 20 and 20, a 22 point 25 rebound and 17 assist game. So again, having that 86 pass accuracy is extremely nice and if you actually look up some of Shaq's passing highlights he had some very underrated passing abilities now again this maybe quite isn't exactly a Shaquille O'Neal build that's why I like to call it like a tight build because the way that this build dominates in the paint especially with the high strength and the bulldozer it absolutely plays like Shaq but it's more of a pick and roll build getting an offensive rebound type of build not really posting up on the block drop stepping dudes that kind of stuff because we don't have any post control on this but enough of me talking let's get into the attributes of this build and then we will get into the gameplay so i am a 92 overall my close shot is probably going to be the last thing that i upgrade but off rip you definitely want to get that 88 driving layup for that Giannis onto the kakumpo layup package and if you're starter three you can still get the sabonis layup package and this will also get you hall of fame float game and of course 89 driving dunk that's going to get you your two foot contact dunks your one foot contact dunks as well and of course the 92 standing dunk for gold fast twitch also gets you to gets you the elite big man contact dunks and everything like that now, like I said, no post control, and there's not really much of a close shot on this build, so it's not exactly a Shaquille O'Neal build, but that, again, that's why I say a tight build, because the way it plays, it does play exactly like Shaq. And me, I just don't really prefer post control. Again, if in a Shaquille O'Neal build, for sure, I absolutely get it, but I just don't really do a lot of drop steps or post spin, so I don't really need it. But being true to Shaq, we have absolutely zero shooting, so a 25 mid, 25 three, and a 25 three throw. But again, this 86 pass accuracy is extremely nice. You have really high rebounding. The 70 rebound is definitely usable you just have to make sure that you box out and get position early and then you can go for the rebound grab that rebound hold x or a whatever it might be depending on what you play chuck that thing down the court and you get some easy outlet assists like you'll see in the coming up gameplay i got 17 assists in the rec game and i'm only a 92 overall but as you can see i can go up to a 95 but what i'm doing is waiting until i can fully max out my ball handle and speed with ball that way i can get my gold driver badge and i think that's going to be extremely fun and especially if you grab a rebound and you do the blowout dribble having that 55 speed of ball maybe you're in mamba take mamba mentality and you have juice perk on something like that you get up to a 70 speed with the ball you can fly down the court dunk on people use that dunk meter it's a lot of fun and only a 61 interior defense and a 78 block so i only have bronze anchor but in the upcoming gameplay i do get five blocks now something that's really interesting i actually did end up making like a true ben wallace build so it is pure defense and i do have a 99 block and hall of fame anchor i find i get just as many blocks with this build as i do with a six with nine with 99 block i think the wingspan really has a lot to do with it and the size of your player and again the more vertical that you have with the bigger size that you have you're going to get more block you still can get a decent amount of blocks with that six foot nine ben wallace build you guys will see i'm not going to recommend that build to a lot of people you really have to love playing defense and just passing the ball because it is very very limited offensively but again that 61 tier defense it definitely gets the job done it's just if you face against like a seven foot three post scoring masher where he is going to drop step you and post spin you they're it might be pretty hard to defend that but that's why i wanted to go to 74 to at least get bronze post lockdown and that 68 perimeter defense to go with the 96 strength with the hall of fame immovable enforcer and the silver off ball pest it is an extremely nasty combination it gives a lot of bigs problems they try to cut to the rack even an off ball cuts or if they have the ball it slows them down tremendously and we don't have a steal on this build unfortunately and like i was mentioning the 78 block and we do have a 93 offensive rebound for hall of fame box out beast gold rebound chaser and the minimum that we could go with the defensive rebound was 78 but like i was talking about you just have to make sure on the defensive end you box your guy out you do have hall of fame box out beast and a 96 strength it is going to be hard for them to swim you once you get position you can go for it get that rebound sometimes you will get screwed over with the 78 rating though believe me but again as you guys seen here i'm averaging like i think 17 19 rebounds or you will see in a few minutes here 66 speed extremely nice to have a 66 speed and 96 strength having a nice speed on the center build with high strength is extremely lethal and i had to go with that 55 acceleration once we get our ball handle and speed the ball up we can get that gold big driver of course 96 strength i wanted that to be an absolute monster and the 78 vertical to match the 89 driving dunk so we can get all of our contact dunk packages and only for now a 92 stamina now if you guys want all the animations for this build i will link the build video in the outro of this video so just click about 10 seconds before the outro let it play and the shack build will pop up there you can click on it i have all my animations and everything that you would need to go absolutely crazy on this build but next up we 
are going to get into this near 2020 gameplay. All right, so here we've got a 22.25 rebound, 17 assists, one steal, and five block gameplay on 11 of 12 shooting on the six foot 11 prime shack type build. And putting up some prime shack type numbers as well too, very efficient, only missing one shot, showing off the Zion Williamson dunk package right there as well too. Of course, Shaq wasn't really throwing down 360s like that, but with a body like this, it is fun to put on that Zion Williamson dunk package and see what he can do. He even does a standing windmill, which you guys will also see later. Again, it's just a really satisfying dunk package, but of course there is some very, very Shaq-like dunks as well. Again, if you guys want all the animations on this build, Go to the outro, click about 10 seconds before. I know I just said this, but just in case you skip through just to the gameplay part of this video, let it play about 10 seconds before the outro and you guys can click on the build video, get all the animations and dunk packages, everything that you need to be successful. And once again, an interesting thing right here, I only have that 78 block and a 61 interior defense in this gameplay, but getting the job done magnificently with five blocks in this gameplay and that 93 offensive rebound coming in handy right there. Again, it's also nice to have a little bit of post playmaker in there as well too getting a nice steal once again and taking it up with the hop step sometimes i'll even throw in a few hop steps in there just to kind of throw the defense off keep them guessing a little bit but again once you kind of do your hop jumper a lot of teammates do end up crashing and they have a wide open lane so while you're in that animation you see a teammate cutting you can hit them wide open on the cut pass it to them and hit them right there i should have hit number five he was cutting right down the middle but i see the other dude in the corner and he hits a contested three but if you guys watch that last play you can see the cutter coming down the middle that was a wide open cut probably should have passed it to him but it ended up working out but again that's 78 block rating getting some absolutely nasty blocks and like I also mentioned earlier I did make like a pure Ben Wallace type of build six foot nine 99 block 99 strength 99 offensive rebound it is extremely limited on offense I wouldn't really recommend making the build unless you really love to play defense and just pass the ball but man it is definitely a fun build I only average about two points per game on it but again it is not a scoring type of build but I average about 16 boards and almost 10 assists per game so it is extremely nice right there I can't believe I didn't dunk it but the nasty spin layup regardless Shaq going off for 14 6 and 9 at the halftime without missing a shot we are up 15 points as well and I believe we even break 100 points in this game which is really nice see right there i'll show him a little bit hit that hop jumper i was double teamed that means somebody has to be wide open and i find the open man hit him in the corner we already got 11 oh, sorry oh, i thought we had 11 assists we have 11 rebounds but you guys know we do get 17 assists in this gameplay but again i think a very large part of getting blocks is how big your build is and the vertical so the more wingspan and the more vertical that you have right there showing off the standing windmill like i was talking about earlier absolutely nasty super satisfying dunk but again the more vertical the more wingspan the bigger your build is you can get more blocks now this is six foot eleven it only is a few inches taller than six foot nine but again even with hall of fame anchor and 99 block and 88 interior defense this build has been getting more blocks for some reason so i don't know i think it's just because of the wingspan and everything it just having a longer arm you can get your hands on more balls pause but <laughs> especially at seven foot three when you've got an eight foot one wingspan and even if you have that 77 block you cover so much space and a huge area of the court and again if you have a high vertical on that build i believe you can only go up to a 75 vertical on a seven foot three but regardless you activate your mama mentality you can get crazy amount of blocks but the next build that you guys will see is the Arvidas Sabonis official template that NBA 2K dropped. You guys can go ahead and make that. So it's not a build that I made, but you can go ahead and make that. I've actually got a triple double with a minute left in the second quarter with the build. Now I did end up making a build very similar to this at the start of the year. I actually do think I like mine a little bit better. You get more speed, more strength and a little bit more defense as well too and more passing as well for Arvidas Simonas being one of the best passing big men of all time 
thought it was a little criminal to only give him an 84 pass accuracy and we do have a 96 on the version that i made we also have a 90 strength our vita sabonis was an absolute unit so right here as i'm talking about that blowout dribble i don't even have fully all of my uh ball handle and speed with ball increased yet but right there look at that that was a nasty euro step windmill acrobatic finish and one and of course i missed the free throw i only have a 25 free throw but another build i am looking at is like a power forward small forward i think 610 69 that gets like 97 driving dunk 96 driving layup and a 96 strength i'd love to try out a pure inside finisher but because of all those ratings it's hard to get enough defense on it and rebounding so that's why i want to make it at the four or the three because it won't be really be much of a rebounding build and i don't want to put myself at the center position if i can't rebound the ball it's very important to be able to rebound the ball if you are going to play in the center position but there we have it a near 20 20 20 22 points 25 boards 17 assists and five blocks as well with only one missed shot on 11 of 12 shooting an absolute monster gameplay from the Shaquille O'Neal type build but I appreciate you guys tuning in make sure you drop a like if you enjoyed this video hit that sub if you're new we'll talk to you later peace